Rory, a special season for you, winning your first and second Rolex Series events. Without going to the minutiae, how would you summarise your year and how special would it be to win here to round it off? Yeah, um, I feel like I've had a really good year. I, as you said, the, the two uh, Rolex Series wins, the close call at the US Open in LA, um, top point scorer at the Ryder Cup. You know, it's been a, you know, I, you know, apart from the majors this year, the one thing I wanted to do was just win the Ryder Cup. And, you know, I really felt like I got the best out of myself that week. And um, obviously really proud of my performance, proud of the team. And uh, yeah, but as you said, you know, it's been a great year and to be able to come here and already have the race to Dubai locked up to, you know, to put the cherry on top and, and win my last start of the year would be lovely. You have an unassailable lead at the top of the race to Dubai, as you've said. Describe what it means to you to name, add your name to that trophy for the fifth time and to have seven, six titles and Monty's incredible eight in your sights. Yeah, it's, um, it's wild. I, you know, I, when I joined the Tour in September 2007, played my first event at the Belfry um, as a pro. I mean, if someone had told me that you're going to win one order of merit, I would have been over the moon. But to win five sitting here and, and still feel like I've got a few left in me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think when you're in, in your career, you don't want to dwell on it too much because you don't need to, you don't need to think about it. But, you know, I, I certainly don't take it for granted. I, I, um, I appreciate everything that I've been able to achieve in this game. And, and this is just another thing to the collection and to have my name amongst Seve and Monty, the you know the greats of European golf. Um, it isn't lost on me, you know what that what that means. None of your wonderful achievements would have been possible if it weren't for the incredible sacrifices, encouragement, and support that your parents gave you. Sum up their con contribution to your success. Yeah, um, my mum and dad sacrificed so much for me to, to even just have a chance to. Um, to follow my dream basically you know my dad worked three jobs at one stage you know there were you know there were 
there were years that went by where he would work over 100 hours a week. My mom worked night shifts just to make more money instead of working during the day on a normal time schedule. And, you know, I used to say to my mom and dad, you know, why, why can't we be like a normal family? Uh, but at that time, I didn't realize the sacrifices that, were, that they were making for me. And um, I think as, as a father now and, and you know, you know, being in, in their position that they were, you know, 30 years ago, just trying to do the best for their son, just like I'm trying to do the best for my daughter. Uh, it, you know, it, 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 I never fully got it until I had my own child. And uh, yeah, you know, my mom and dad mean the world to me. And, um, you know, none of this would have been possible without their, their love and their, and their support. And, um, yeah, you know, I've, you know, I, I, I can't say enough about what they've, what they've done for me over my, over my entire life, and um, you know, I'll never be able to repay them for that. But you know, I've made sure to try to give them the, the most comfortable, you know, years of their life, and and uh, you know, I just hope they know how much I appreciate what they've, what they've done for me.